Thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Today is August 18th, 2011. As you can see, I have a candle lit. <clears throat> I think you know what that means. Unfortunately, another OT8 from the Church of Scientology, a member of the Church of Scientology, Joe Feshback, has passed away. He's a very well-known Scientologist. His brother Matt Feshback was the person who did the big tour, got all the donations for superpower, and was given superpower. He was the only public who was given superpower. Um, Joe's um, daughter is Jessica, who was one of the handlers for Tom, or the main handler for Tom Cruise. You would see Tom Cruise and Katie, and in between was that one girl, Jessica. That's his daughter, and she is married to Tommy Davis, both of who we really haven't seen much of in quite a while. Tommy took over from Mike Rinder, who left the Church of Scientology and was the PR for Scientology. And now Tommy has been the PR for Scientology. And now there's been a few definitely serious PR flaps, meaning upsets, like Jan Eastgate getting arrested, um, <coughs> which you can Google that to see it and the information on it. I'm going to put some links in here regarding Joe Feshback and the Feshbacks in general. And I suggest you read them. It, they're a fascinating family. They, I believe their company in the 80s was a billion dollars worth of money. You know, They had made a lot, a lot of money on shorting stocks. However, uh, many things for many of us have changed in, in the recent years, and I think they have for the Feshbacks also. Um, I'm going to put links on that so you can look at it and read it. But basically, I just wanted to say that did happen. If you've heard it, yes, it's true. I'm going to put the article in it uh, that talks about it. And I'm very, very sorry to the Feshbacks. I know I remember Yachty and different OSA people laughing at any ex-Scientologist, whoever felt compassion for Scientologists. And, you know, that's kind of sick in itself because I didn't really know the Feshbacks personally, but when you're in a group like that, you hear their name all the time, so they almost feel like they're part of your family, even though they're not really. I mean, personally, I didn't know them, but I knew of them an, a ton. You hear of them all the time. They're huge donators, or were, of the Church of Scientology. So, um, I feel bad when anybody passes away. He's 55. He was 55 years old. That's way, way too young to die. He was in Idaho riding a bicycle up a hill, fell off his bike, and they're doing an investigation, but I believe he, they're saying he had a heart attack. And I, I just can't say it enough. Please, if you're in the Church of Scientology, get out. Get out of there. If you want to use the tech, you can use the tech. It's all outside here. There's much better auditors outside than in the Church of Scientology. People are having huge wins on it. I'm not one of those people. I'm not doing that. But I believe that if that's what you want, there's a bridge out. You don't need to stay in that church. The church does very abusive things that the people out do not do. They break up families. They use fair game. They have medical abuse. You know, they charge exorbitant fees for things that you can get for much, 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 much less outside of the church. And the people that are outside of the church using it are having success on it. There's people that say that's a bunch of BS, and I say it's not up to us to decide for grown adults, you know, what they want to do. If they want to spend their money that way, that's fine with me. But the point is, don't stay in an abusive organization thinking that's where you have to stay. Way too many people die or take their own lives within the Church of Scientology to stay there. What's the point? You know if you're in it how crummy it is. It's gotten way crummy. And Miscavige forget about it. We are not going away. The critics are not going away. The independents are not going away. The, the ex-Scientologists are not going away. The information is not going away. The books, more books keep getting written every single day. And I know your analogy is, well, the Catholics had, you know, really big problems in their early days. But the difference is the Catholics were not a business alone. You could do Catholicism and donate a quarter. You could do Catholicism and doing, donate thousands. You cannot do that with the Church of Scientology. It is a business. It isn't a, they call it a donation, but you have to donate. You have to pay the price to do every single level in the Church of Scientology. That's not a church. That's a business. And it's going to be found out one way or the other 
it's, you're going to get nailed on it. Trust me on that. Because people around the world are watching you and exposing things. And I thank every single one of you. Because more and more people get hurt like this and it's just not okay with me. I don't want to keep saying another person died. You know, that's, you know, I want to have people free and happy and doing what they want to do. That was my goal when I got in Scientology. Once I realized that goal was over, that isn't really what Miscavige is about. It isn't. And if you're listening to this and you think it is, keep looking and reading. <clears throat> I've said it for 11 years. Don't trust me. Look, read, listen, talk to other people, learn the facts. And ask yourself this, why can't your church say that? We say it all the time. Look at both sides. Compare the notes. I have absolute certainty. If you know both sides, you're going to make the right decision for you. I have no question about it. But I also say, why can't your church say that? That's because they know you're going to walk out the door if you know both sides. Okay? So go and look and check it out. And to everybody exposing these abuses, I say it all the time. I thank you from the bottom and the top of my heart. And to the Feshbacks and their friends, I say I'm sorry. And to Joe, peace out, have a good ride, fly high. And, and you know, you're free. You are. So hopefully he's going somewhere good. Take care.